Chapter 31 Wake up, son, a deep voice called. Francesco? Dominic moaned, his eyes still closed. Blinking hard, Dominic looked up to see a man in modern clothes staring down at him. Now where did you come from? the man asked in English. Where am I? Dominic cried. Where's Francesco? He was shocked to hear himself speak in English. You're at the Ellis Island Immigration Museum. I'm one of the rangers here. The museum? Dominic gasped. Rangers? He looked down to see his clean T-Rex t-shirt, and there on his chest, hanging from the gold chain, was his lucky key. He clutched it, clutched it with his trembling fingers. What year is it? he whispered. I suppose if you hang around long enough in here, the ranger laughed, <laughs> you do sort of forget what year it is. No, you don't understand, Dominic tried to explain. You see, I was here with my class when I fell asleep, and then when I woke... I think what happened is you fell asleep and you had yourself quite a dream, the ranger interrupted. What's your name, kid? Dominic. Dominic Cantori, he sputtered. What happened to your shoes? Dominic stared down at his bare feet, his clean, unbruised feet. I... I left them downstairs in the closet, he said. Don't worry, we'll pick them up the ranger told him as he helped him to his feet. Dominic looked around at the softly lit display cases and the modern lighting overhead. He took a deep breath. The air was clean and cool. Come on, we'd better get downstairs and give your family a call, the ranger said. My family? Dominic repeated the words aloud. Before the ranger could stop him, Dominic spun around and reached for the phone where he had heard, first heard Francesco's voice and as his heart pounded in his chest, he held the receiver to his ear.